Hey, what's up, Coach? This is uh, Coach Ben from BuildMySportsBiz.com, and today I have a question uh, that I got from a basketball coach, uh, and his name is Ryan. Ryan uh, sent me this question last week, and I feel like this is going to apply to you no matter what sport uh, you're looking to start. If you're looking to start a private training academy or camps or clinics, this is going to be really helpful. All right. So let me pull this up real quick. All right. So Ryan says, Hey Ben, um, I'm just starting uh, with my business right now. I only have five players in my program. What, what are a couple tips where I can instantly uh, get more players into my program? And what should I be focusing on right now to grow my business? Okay. So I think this is a great question, okay? That is a question I never asked anybody when I was in Ryan's shoes. Um, and my problem was I was very stubborn. I never asked for help. Um, I always thought for some reason that I could just figure things out on my own. And I did that, but that took years, right? And if I would have understood uh, back then, when I was starting, what I know now about starting a business, how to get more players, like I would have fast tracked my success so much faster, right? So Ryan, here is uh, two things that I would look to do uh, right now. Okay, I would look number one at the five players who you're training, and I would specifically think about their parents. Okay, so what I would do is you have five players who love training with you. They're coming and they're training with you on a regular basis. So how can we chat with the parents and build a referral program from the players who are currently training? All right, so here's an easy tip, easy idea. You could approach each uh, parent individually um, at your next session and let them know that over the next 30 days, you're running a referral program, okay? So over the next 30 days, you're running a referral program where if they can refer uh, two to four players, you're going to give their son or daughter um, the next, uh, out of the next couple months, you're going to give them two, two or three sessions for free, right? So in exchange of them giving you new players, you're going to give them a couple free sessions. Or you could say, uh, you guys could come to my next clinic that I'm having for free. You basically give them something for free in exchange for hooking you up uh, with new players. And the reason why I would say they have 30 days is because that's going to create urgency. If you just say, hey, I have this thing, uh, this referral program for the next year. If you refer to these kids, I'll give you this. Most parents won't take action uh, if you, unless you put a deadline on it, right? So put a deadline on it. Talk to each parent uh, individually. And this is the thing I've realized about uh, my business here. When I talk to parents and they know that I'm looking for players and they know that I've helped their son or daughter, they are going to want to help me, right? But I need to tell them that. I need to ask them, hey, can Miss Jones, can you uh, refer any of the of Johnny's teammates over uh, to my program? And in exchange, I'm going to give Johnny two free sessions over the next three months. Like when you ask people, they'll be very responsive. Like parents won't know that you want to grow your business. They won't know that you want more players unless you tell them. All right, so you can't be shy, okay? So I would, number one, do that, okay? Start with who you're training now, okay? Number two, this is something I uh, feel like I'm really good at now. Um, if you would have talked to me about this uh, six years ago, I was garbage at this, all right? So if you have a referral program set up, okay, that should be running on autopilot all the time. Anytime you get a new player, like within the first 30 to 45 days, you need to be telling their parents about the referral program you have, right? This way they, you can constantly add new players, right? That's one thing. But the second thing is trying to network with other people who are in your industry, right? So for example, if you want to train kids who are in middle school or in high school, you need to be in every single coach's ear all of the time. Okay, to the point where every single coach um, in, in basketball, for your example, knows who you are. Okay, they know that you want to help. 
So going and volunteering at, at practices or going to watch games or going to talk to, to teams at halftime, going to do extra and show those coaches that you're here to help because you're not a threat. You are a trainer who's helping those players get better for their coaches. And when you can approach networking that way, then you can expose yourself in front of thou- like literally thousands of players in your city if you do it the right way. So my advice is start small. Right. What I would do um, if I was a basketball coach, I would look to go to like the YMCA. Um, I would look to go to all the AAU uh, events. I'd look to network with all those coaches and I would pull up on Google um, every single high school, every single middle school, um, every single elementary school program. And I would start hitting the phones. I would start uh, taking coaches out to Starbucks to to talk to them for 10 to 15 minutes. I would do anything to get in front of those coaches because they are influencers. They have influence over the kids who you want to train, right? So those are two things that can instantly get you more players into your program, right? So I would try to do one thing at a time, start with a referral program, and then from there, I would go um, and start networking with more coaches. And this is really, like, if you think about your, your business, no matter what sport you're in, okay? Who the more people who know you, the financially the better you're gonna do, right? The more people who trust your program, okay, that's just better for you, okay? So you need to have those two things. People need to know you, they need to trust you, and the more you can put yourself out there all of the time, the easier those two things happen, right? So I would definitely try those two things. And guys, if you're watching this video, uh, no matter what sport you're in, those two things are really gonna help you out. And if you want my personal help, um, like structuring those things uh, in, in more fine detail, um, I am definitely here to help. And all you have to do, um, I set this up, it is so simple. Uh, no matter what sport you're in, all you need to do is go to my website. Um, you'll see a link below. Um, it's buildmysportsbiz.com. If you are on a, a mobile phone or if you're on your computer, it doesn't matter. At the top of the page or in the menu, um, it says call coach Ben. That's me. Like all you have to do is literally click on that button. Um, and there's a little application form. All it is, it's just for me to, to get to know a little bit more about who you are, what you need help with before we chat on the phone. But all you have to do is click that and we can set up a 15 to 20 minute strategy call about your business. Um, that call is absolutely free. There's nothing to risk. All I want to do is talk to you and see how I can help out. All right, so all you have to do, like I said, go to my website, it's on the homepage, click that big blue button. Uh, From there, you can just apply uh, to get on the phone with me. Uh, We'll set up a 15 to 20 minute chat uh, sometime this week, um, and I can't wait to talk to you, right? I'm super excited about that. When we started doing that um, a couple years ago on our Soccer Entrepreneur page, like I have talked to like probably over 500 coaches now um, in all sports, right? So go ahead, check that out. I would love to help you out personally, and I'll see you on the next video.